Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the latest Apple operating system named Catalina. So, this image was created by a Brazilian Hackintosh group called Olarilla, and the image will be available in the video description for you to download so you can burn this image directly from Mac OS or Linux or Windows as I'm doing right now using Etcher Balena so you just need a, a pen drive bigger than 8 gigabytes so I'm using an SD card of 16 gigabytes and so the program will erase your pen drive or SD card and will burn the Catalina image directly on it. So this is a an image that already has Clover boot loader. Okay, Clover boot loader will mimic a real Mac. So for the the operating system will think that will be really is running on a real Mac okay so plug in your pen drive don't forget before you install uh, Hackintosh you need to search online on Google uh, the, the optimal BIOS settings for your machine I already done that for my machine so if you want to see how I have it I can do a video just uh, ask on the comments below and if I have several persons asking for it I will record a video of my BIOS okay so enable to boot from the pen drive I, I pressed F12 because I have a gigabyte motherboard and here we we need to select so this is the Clover bootloader we need to select the, the Catalina installers okay so enter and the process will begin so this will take a while some parts of the video will be edited to be faster okay okay so if all went well you will be presented with a language selector so if you are Portuguese like me you would select Portuguese but I will do it in English okay so I will select English all my machines all my operating systems I will I will always install in English okay so we need to prepare the disk so we, we don't go directly to install Mac OS we go to disk utility and for this I recommend that you have a new or a separate hard drive if you don't want to mess uh, another operating system so as you can see I already have one disk with two partitions because I already done a tutorial for iSierra and I was planning to do another one for Mojave but right now I will install instead Mojave Catalina so go to view and change to show all devices and you will see the disk and it's really important that is GUID partition map okay if it is uh, if it, it is not GUID it will not work okay so I will format one the partition in APFS and I will call it Catalina okay so as you can see you can have more than one operating system on the same hard drive you just need to make several partitions so in this hard drive I will be having iSierra and Catalina okay so now the hard drive is ready to receive the operating system so we now can close the disk utility once again don't forget to change view to show all drives okay uh, if you're coming from a PC never on Mac uh, for the first time format your drive in FAT F-A-T 
in GUID okay and after that you will do it again like this okay now we are proceeding with Catalina click continue agree agree now we get to select the disk so the new one is Catalina the one that I've just formatted and click install okay this will take a while um, about the color of the screen as you can see it's magenta it's supposed to be black uh, this uh, I have two screens and on the left one if I have the two screens connected always in Mojave and in Isierra it, it always happen the same okay so don't uh, worry about it because we will be able to fix this and you will be you will be able to see that it's working really well with the, the the monitor that I have on the, on the right side okay but I, I have a video on how to fix it so after the first restart select again to boot from the pen drive but this time instead of the pen drive we will select the partition created okay so we need to select the one that we created sorry I was I was not recording the old screen I, as I supposed to do so but select the one the new one that you will see there with Catalina on it it's the one on the right okay okay install from Catalina enter and now again uh, the video is edited to be faster because this really takes a, a while and I'm doing this on a normal hard drive so if uh, I recommend that you use a SSD and not a, a hard drive like this but if you don't have an SSD this one will work as well but uh, slower okay Okay, and for the last time we will boot again from the pen drive and the system should be installed in our hard drive but yet we still don't have the bootloader directly on our hard drive so now we need to select boot from Catalina and we'll boot for the first time If you press spacebar you have access to all these options from the Clover bootloader so you can enable or disable the ones you want okay so enter and is booting for the first time once again the video is edited to be faster So uh, you will be for me this installation will work perfectly so I will have uh, sound and network all, all will be working so the, the only thing I need to fix is this magenta screen and if you want to see how to do that I have a video just check it okay so this is the con is still installing so we need to select the, the country And I was saying that um, so if 
if you need to to install several things i have another video that i done for icr the video is about post installation that shows you how to install casts how to change the sm bios several stuff uh, about clover so because after this installation you will need to install clover directly on your hard drive and you get you can get rid of the the pen drive so the pen drive is just for installation and after that if you install clover directly on the the hard drive uh, you will be you will have a machine uh, that will boot uh, without pen drives okay but to do that uh, you, you need to to see the other video okay uh, probably i will leave the video linked in the video description as well so you can change your logo or avatar or your picture as you as you want and don't forget if this video is helping you somehow uh, help me so leave your comment give give the video a thumbs up uh, consider to subscribe the channel for more tutorials and any doubt you have just leave a comment below and i will try to help everybody or direct you to a solution for your Hackintosh problem okay so it's creating the user the installation is almost done another important thing so if you are new to the Akintosh world so from from Mojave Catalina some Nvidia cards are not working anymore so only the ones the the ones that Apple used in in Mac Pros and MacBook Pros the, those ones those Nvidia is still working but uh, uh, new cars are not working so everybody is moving to RX Radeon so this one is uh, 60, 5680 uh, I also had to change from NVIDIA to this one to continue to upgrade my Hackintosh okay so as I told you the right screen is perfectly the color is perfect and everything is working really nice okay as you can see let's check if we have Ethernet so this always happen even with an Apple keyboard the system says that the, the keyboard it's some kind of strange I don't know but it works perfectly so don't worry about it okay so as I told you the color on the right is perfect so if I am working with only this screen it would be completed so but I will be fixing this magenta screen but now I, I want to show you that uh, is working really nice so I don't need to touch anything else so Ethernet is green as you can see so I have an IP address and now for the sound we have output LG full HD HDMI And now as a, all the information about the computer okay so inside the pen drive you will have that folder with all a lot of apps that will help you to fix your Hackintosh okay so Google 
if you have some issues and you will find a solution perhaps the solution is already inside that pen drive okay so don't forget if this video was helpful to you to give me a thumbs up consider to subscribe and i see you on the next if video. you like this video please subscribe